you know, I should have asked you this earlier. I, I, I know you became a, a, a army ranger and a sniper. What, what did your parents do in the service? They were counterintelligence. So they were um, essentially like spies, uh, copying Morse code and, and, and tapping into like radio frequency satellites. I don't know how they did it, but they would intercept communication in Russia, some somewhere in Russia and decipher it, decode it, translate it and send it to, I don't know who, but I know that that's, they never talked about it like in depth. That's all they say. And I wasn't allowed to like talk about the stuff at school. They would just tell them, tell me to say, you know, they worked on Fort Meade or something like that. But um, they were heavy into counterintelligence, counterintelligence during the Cold War. And my dad got out as a, uh, out of the army and continued that path as a civilian contractor or a civilian government agent or something like that. And he continued that for over 20 something years, just computer stuff. He would go places to the Middle East, never talk about it. And like, that's really all I know. He's he's always been that, to that Cold War era. They don't, my dad never talked about anything. You know, he would mention a few things here and there. I would see stuff, never get it. But I know he would go places, do secret stuff. And he was counterintelligence, but they both were. That's where they met. Understood. I, I asked you that because you, you spoke about him really introducing you to guns and your grandfather had something like a hundred rifles. Mm -hmm. Did he ever see, it seemed like he used his mind in the service and not necessarily was in combat. Did he ever see combat himself? No, no, never saw combat, never, was never shot at anything like that. So it was all sitting behind a computer listening to codes and deciphering stuff for him. Got you. Okay. When did you learn, you know, you, 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 you're shooting with your grandfather and your dad, your dad's introducing you to shooting. Um, when did you learn, yo, I'm actually pretty good at this. Like, I, I know I thought that I wanted to be an astronaut, um, but but when I when I have a gun in my hand, it just feels right. It just feels like it makes sense. And I'm actually was, good at this thing. I would say I was in elementary school. Um, no, middle school. My uncle, when we go down to Georgia, he would smoke cigarettes and I would steal a few cigarettes from him, not to smoke, but I would tape them up on a piece of plywood or tape them up to the tape them up to a tree. And I would go back a uh, uh, quite a distance and see if I could shoot it and split it in half. Um, when I started to do that, I was like, you know, I'm pretty good at this. I felt good at it. And competing with my granddad, um, going hunting with him, he would have like, he would set up, up targets and he'd put them out at a, you know, pretty good distance where the deer would be at or where he would expect deer to be at. And I was like the only kid out of the grandchildren um, who were consistently hitting them. And it just, felt good to me like it it was a it was the only it was like a mental challenge um and I just always found it to be neat to concentrate that hard um it was just one of those things I, I like the concentration behind it of focusing on something and, and and doing it it was like the only thing I was really good at I wasn't good at school no matter how much I thought I was applying my brain to it I just didn't get it that was the only thing I could apply my brain to and see it through and accomplish something. So I, I think middle school is when I really found out that, you know, I, I enjoyed it and wanted to, you know, really pursue it. Wow. So you knew early on, even if you didn't know, and you know, speaking of that, I'm going to put words in your mouth. Did you know that the, the, the career of a sniper even existed? I mean, obviously you knew, like all of us know that uh, uh, the army exists. Um, mm -hmm. you, you can go into the service, but did you know at an early age that there was something called a sniper? Oh yeah. Um, watching this Navy SEAL movie with my dad, it was called Navy SEALs. And the sniper was on there and he referred to himself as God. And that stuck with me for, you know, at a young age for a long time. And that just is something that I wanted to do. I wanted to be that guy. 
um, who was a sniper. So it was in middle schools when I used to tell my teachers, I would get in trouble and I would say stuff like, I don't need this stuff anyways. I'm going to be in the army. I'm going to be a, a Navy SEAL sniper. Um, and they were like, you know, you have to be smart to be in the military. You, you have to be smart to be able to shoot. And I was just like, no, you don't. I shoot, you know, during the summer every year. And it takes no math at all uh, for me at, at a young age, shooting the distances that I was shooting at. But it was middle school. I knew I wanted to be a sniper. My mom would help me make uh, ghillie suits and sniper suits what I thought was a how to make one. So it was at a very young age, middle school is when I definitively, definitively knew that's what I wanted to be, was a sniper. So every time I would get in trouble, that's what I told my teachers and studied it, looked it up, stole VHS tapes from the, um, from the library down the street about snipers and Vietnam and stuff like that. And we watch it when my parents were at work, very young age. You know, it's so interesting because people go their whole life. I mean, you can talk to adults right now today who have been sitting at a desk for the better part of their life. And if you ask them that question, what is it that you truly want to do with your life? They can't answer it. So the fact that in middle school, you knew this is what I want to do. You know, I, I, I understand that there's, I, I first have to get out of middle school. I got to go to high school before I can even hit the service. But I know that this is what I want to do. I think that that's admirable in and of itself because most, I, you can ask 90% of the population, if they're doing what they truly want to do, they probably would say no. And if then if you ask, well, what is it that you want to do? They would give you a blank stance. I, I just don't know. And I think that's a sad state to, I don't know. Um, it is a sad state. It, it makes me question, even just by you mentioning that, it, it, it makes us or makes me question, like, what is life's purpose, you know? And it, yeah, it, that's a that's a deep one, man. That That's a deep one that I could think about for a while of, you know, what 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 separated me at that age you know, to be that determined. I think it was options. I didn't have that many options to, I didn't know about that much. You know, it was, I knew this existed. I knew astronauts existed. Astronauts were out of the, out of the, uh, you know, the foreseeable future. So that only left me with one thing. Um, I think it was just down to the options. And I, I thoroughly enjoyed doing it. I love to shoot. I love dressing up in the, uh, and, and, and the camouflage and going out. I love being out in nature, learning about nature and stuff like that. Um, but I know no, that's that's a deep question. What if everyone's life's purpose is we get so wrapped up in being adults that we forget what it is that we wanted to do as kids, you know, our true passions and desires. Maybe that's the, maybe that's the goal is to pursue stuff like that. It's just that there's not many avenues to pursue a childhood dream or what we envision to see or as a childhood dream. There's not many adult avenues that cater to that. Maybe, I don't know. That's a tough one. I don't know. No, it is a tough one. Um, and you're one of the blessed ones. You, you truly are. Um, I, I think that the way our society is, our society will tell you, go get your education, get a good job, raise a family, but what they fail to tell you is do something you truly love. Mm -hmm. um, don't work for the money, you know, work for something that brings you absolute enjoyment and pleasure and the money and the success will follow. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's completely opposite. When kids go to college, they, they, they're not studying. And, and, you know, some people, you know, they're going and they know exactly what to do and they're studying, but most people they study, based on, can I earn a good living at this? Is yep, this something yep. that is going to give me a nice check and I'm going to be able to raise, uh, raise a family and get a job? So I, I, I commend you. I, I think that you should commend yourself because again, I believe 90, if you ask 90% of Americans this same question, if they're totally honest with themselves, they're going to say, I, I, to this day, I don't know what it is that I want to do. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, 
feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.